This week from the Miami Boat Show, we ride along on an intrepid tournament edition. Learn how to easily clean your hull, brighten up any dock, and hit the beach running. Pleasure Boater is dead ahead. Week number two, ladies and gentlemen, our coverage here of the Miami International Boat Show. Hey, it's a granddaddy of them all. Hi, I'm Captain Ted Jones. Let's get things started with something for your boat. Maintenance, that's something you should pay attention to. There's a new company around called Brizzo. Let me interrupt Mark right here. Mark, tell me what this is. How's this work? Uh, this is the Holmate Brizzo. Uh, it's a hull cleaning device that has no moving parts doesn't use chemicals and it's just got a very clever bit of engineering going on uh, which enables anybody to clean the hull of their boat whilst it's still in the water. It's the first. All right now how does it go down underwater? How's it? Well um, we have uh, a, a 10 foot pole, a okay. uh, stainless steel marine grade pole which attaches to the end of this and you simply stand on the dock side or from the tender and you just push it against the hull. The way that this is designed, uh, it captures air in the pockets and also within the container. And it gives 18 pounds of upward pressure wow. all the way across the cleaning head. Now, if you can imagine a diver under there, he's obviously holding on with one hand and scrubbing with the other. You don't get even pressure. This gives even pressure. And this is the pole, right? Stainless steel? Stainless steel marine pole. And we call it the wand telescopic up to over nine feet so you can reach down on you know boats up to the draft up to you know eight twelve feet right. so it'll, it'll get to the keel or if you know your regular power boat all right now I have the big question how do I get it you got a website oh we do thank you it's at hallmate h-u-l-l-m-a-t-e dot com hallmate.com it's time for boat test a look at the latest models by the leading boat manufacturers brought to you by boattest.com tests you can trust. Rinker needed to create a boat to fill a gap between their 18 and 21 foot boats and they did it with this 196 Captiva and to appeal to a wider audience they came up with a stern drive and an outboard version. Today we're going to take the stern drive version and put it through a full performance test. For boattest.com I'm Captain Steve. The helm's a very nice orderly layout. There's a trim gauge over on the left hand side. Two large gauges will be a tack and a speedometer with a four-in-one gauge in the center and a depth gauge over on the right-hand side. A flat area with not much going on and I'd like to see this recess to the point where it could hold stuff. Rocker switches underneath, a drink holder on the right-hand side, ignition and blower on the left-hand side and over on the right-hand side, circuit breakers and a 12-volt supply. I like the Italian Isada steering wheel. It's flat at the bottom so when you pivot, your legs won't be hitting the wheel and of course, it's a tilt wheel. Our Rinker 196 Captiva had a length overall of 19 feet 6 inches, a beam of 8 feet, and a draft of 34 inches. With an empty weight of 3,150 pounds, two people on board in full fuel, we had a test weight of 3,802 pounds. With a 200 horsepower Volvo Penta 4.3 GI doing the heavy work, we reached a top speed of 41.8 miles per hour at 4,800 RPM. At that speed, we were burning 13.6 gallons per hour while getting 3.08 miles per gallon for a range of 117 miles. Best Cruise came in at 3,500 RPM with a speed of 29.7 miles per hour. Our time to plane was 4.6 seconds. We reached 20 miles per hour in 6.7 seconds and accelerated through 30 miles per hour in 9.5 seconds. When you're turning the 196, I like the two and a half turn from lock to lock. You can make nice docile turns and the 196 will carve through those turns quite nicely. But if you turn all the way, put it all the way to the lock, you'll bleed off so much speed that the stern wants to kind of fish around, but it never quite gets to that point. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water. Folks, it's called RoboReel, and it's one of the greatest inventions. Here's the guy that invented the whole thing, the CEO. Jim, tell me about this. How does it work? Well, there's a number of features to it. First thing I'll tell you about them, there's redundant thermostats, so this thing will never overheat, catch on fire. It's got uh, heavy-duty plastics in here. It's built to last. This thing's, uh, a lot of people build things to be replaced. I built this to last 20 years in a residential environment, no question about it. 
the uh, cord special built. The average cord get corkscrewed and all that kind of stuff. I had to have a special built cord so we could wind it in here. It's got a number of electrical things in it. It's a four wire technology. If this cord gets severed, the power gets shut off in less than a second to help prevent electrocution. It's got a number of other safety features in it. And when one of the, uh, the real cool parts about it is this technology. Because we have uh, four wires, we're able to use these LED lights. This shows the power on and the power off. I can put the power back on with this thing. And if I want to wind it up, I just turn power off and then let the button and up it goes. We also use this uh, to program the different ceiling heights. This is a very low ceiling height, but in a lot of places it'll be 10 foot, 12 foot, 13, whatever. All you got to do is bring it to the floor, whatever uh, distance it is. As soon as you've brought it to the floor, you hold this button down for five seconds, it'll blink at you. And as soon as you see it blink, you know it's programmed for that particular height. All right, now this isn't one of those little 2018 gauge wires like you get at Walmart. No, 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 no. This is 12 gauge, 15 amps. This is the real deal. Yeah, the water hose is the same principle except it shuts off the water. Well, it, it turns the water on, turns the water off. It's all remote control. You don't have to go into the faucet. Once you've hooked it up, the water valve takes over there and everything else is remote buttons. So on the end of here, we have this remote. Now, this remote could be quick disconnected off of the unit and uh, you take it off double O rings throughout. It doesn't leak, run down your arm. Uh, the thing just doesn't leak at all. You get it on there and you get all your remote control. This could be programmed uh, to uh, run water in your pool, say, for four hours. And then four hours later, it'll shut the water off and wind up unattended. Okay, if I want more information, you have a website where we can get this? Absolutely. www.robolreel.com. Pleasure Motor is being brought to you by Hallmate, the Brizzo, an invention in hall cleaning. And by RoboReel, making life a little easier. And by Great White, live great with Great White, maker of the accordion gangplank. Glendinning has been bringing you the finest quality innovative products for the marine industry since 1972, including the Cable Master Shore Power Cable Storage System and the Cable Master Cord Reels, new compact solution for shore power cable storage, plus Glendinning's mechanical and electronic engine controls for all engine types and the Pro X control cables and the Hose Master Model LW, suitable for handling hoses up to 100 feet, and the Hose Master Model S, suitable for handling swim platforms, shower hoses, and more. Learn more at glendinningprods.com. Lasdeck is raising the bar by introducing two groundbreaking products. Cool Teak decking that stays 25 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit cooler in the hot sun and the award-winning Azure decking with caulk lines that glow in the dark. Plasdeck is the only synthetic teak decking that's made in the USA and it's the world's best patented synthetic teak decking. To learn more, check us out at plasdeck.com. Plasdeck, the next generation of synthetic teak decking. Hitting something submerged under the water's surface and knocking a large hole in your boat is always a constant threat and will definitely cause your boat to sink. But what about when your bilge pumps fail you or when you fail to secure drain plugs? Introducing Float Rail from Y-Sync. The float rail consists of a system of airbags permanently attached to your hull and then deployed along the sides of the hull. The bags are inflated with inner gas and can be triggered manually, electrically, or by automatic water detection sensors or by float switches. Learn more at y-sync.com. Marine diesel engines have extreme operating issues far beyond diesels used in non-marine applications. Boats are subjected to tremendous resistance from the water. To make a yacht go fast, it takes power and high RPM. The higher the RPM, the worse fuel pump cavitation and vapor become. Air in fuel from sloshing and vapor retard injection timing. AirDog removes air and vapor from fuel to restore correct injection timing for less fuel consumption, full increased power, and less smoke. Learn more by logging on at pureflowtechnologies.com. Welcome back aboard Pleasure Motor from the Miami International Boat Show. I want to talk to you about V-Lock. We featured them here before on Pleasure Motor, how to mount things, and they progress. We'll meet Mike in just a minute, tell you about how they progress. But look, you want to mount a grill right here, one of the magma grills. You could do two of these and mount one of the big grills, or you need a cleat right here, maybe a GPS. You want to be able to remove the GPS, pull one little pin, pull it out of there. Here's a rocket launcher, a rod holder. Hey, there's a different idea, a vise. Maybe a cup holder. I'm going to keep on going and show you some of the uses right here. This is showing you, you could vote something on here or you could vote something right here uh, horizontally. 
maybe a little larger one. Here's some where you could boat an instrument on. Hey, he even came up with a grinding wheel and a buffing pad. The number of uses for this is endless. And now they've got them made out of something else. Uh, now we're making them not only out of aluminum, but marine starboard. Uh, so the starboard is white, blends in with the boat. It blends in with the boat. It's lightweight. It's easy to clean. It doesn't chip. And it's, um, it won't corrode. Okay, and you also have an aluminum. Let's show us exactly how it works, for instance. Come right down here. Let's say we had something mounted here, a GPS, a this, chart plotter. This is a downrigger base for our Canon downrigger. Okay. This is a very popular application. A lot of people don't like to have the downrigger base permanently mounted to their boat. So you put your downrigger on here. Now when you're not fishing, you pop this off, stow your downrigger away, come back, put some cup holders down. Now, yeah, now you now have two different sizes. Um, well, the inserts, the base unit is all one size, but inserts now we have a, a, a larger platform for um, things like the bench grinder or, or trolling motors and or small engines. Now the big question, how do I find out more about this? Uh, mostly from our website. We have a lot of pictures customers have sent in um, at www.v-lock.com. All right, folks, there you have it. We've had them on the show, but now they've progressed. They've gotten even bigger, found even more uses. You know what? If you have a use, why don't you email it in to him? Why do you yeah. come to the boat show? Why do I come to the yeah, boat show? Yeah, what do you like? To buy boats. All right. yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. All right, so you probably buy one? Probably would. If they deal with you, the price is the right. right deal, the right price, absolutely. All right, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Have a good day. Hey, take a look at that shark. No, not that one. This shark over here. Kev, tell me a little bit about what you have right here. It's like a sea stair, huh? It is. Actually, it's an accordion gangplank, and it's really meant to be like a bow to beach ladder. Now, the concept's been around for quite a while, but we've actually re-engineered it and brought it back into the industry so that people can enjoy it and have easy access to the beach. What's it made out of? It's made out of anodized aluminum and stainless steel. We also have a, a PVC cover that's UV protected. So it's marine all the way. Absolutely. And it attaches to the boat real simply up here, huh? a couple Absolutely. pins. Right, it does. It's got two stainless steel mounting brackets and a quick release pin. So it simply clicks right in, and when you're done using it, you collapse the ladder and you pull it right off. All right, now if you're boating in tidal area, does it move with the tide all right? It absolutely does. When you're going out, it's just going to hang, or if the tide's coming in, what it's going to do is it's just going to collapse as it needs to. It's super simple. This is our nine-step ladder. You simply open it up, oops, sorry, and you pick it up just like this. Now, you have any other products you're thinking about? I like this. Yeah, we do. Actually, we're working on the Accordion Gangplank 2, which is going to come out second quarter of this year. And it's actually for a lower profile boat. It's like for pontoon boats, lower profile. It's going to have a max height of about 36 inches, a wide step, about a five inch step on it. So very pet friendly as well. Yeah, really neat. Well, if they want more information, you have a website? Absolutely. Just go to www.gr, the letter A, dash white dot com. It's time for Nautical Knowledge, brought to you by the Miami International Boat Show, coming to the Miami area February 13 through 17, 2014. What's another name for a small compartment or cabin on a vessel? Nothing's more precious to a boat owner than a safe and carefree day on the water. Day after day, Intrepid is relentless in the pursuit of quality, reliability, and safety of our custom power boats. This passion for perfection and our highly personalized customer care has earned us our reputation for the best boat owning experience in the industry. Intrepid's revolutionary transverse stepped hull design delivers an incomparable smooth dry ride. To learn more about the new Intrepid models from 24 to 47 feet, log on to IntrepidPowerBoats.com. You don't want to leave your expensive electronics on your boat for fear it might be stolen. With the V-Lock system, you can quickly and easily remove your device and store it away safely. And that is just one example of the flexibility you have with the V-Lock system. The V-Lock system can accommodate just about any marine accessory imaginable. The system is made of either marine starboard or marine grade aluminum for strength and durability. You can learn more and see videos of the product you use by logging on to v-lock.com. The answer to this week's nautical knowledge is called a cuddy or cuddy cap.
Welcome back aboard Pleasure Boaters. We continue out here in the tent. We have visited with Weeman, the past year on Pleasure Boater, talked to them about their tank monitoring system, but hey, yell the new president, you've got some new gauges here, buddy. Hi, how's it going? Yes, um, new president, we decided to bring a full new line of gauges from all the dashboard gauges from Levo to TAC to Speedo to even our new GPS speedometer. Yeah, this GPS is really cool because here's an antenna that you put outside and then it gives you what? It gives you the speed and the course over ground, the red compass heading, everything comes from the 32 channel GPS antenna. It's an isolated unit by itself. Now I see you have analog gauges here, dark face, white face, but you also have digital gauges. Yes, we have new digital LCD gauge. So for people who like a more modern look, and this will shine really bright at the daytime or night so you can see clearly what you're doing. You have uh, updated the old pickups that you used to use. Let's talk about that. What do we got right here? This is cool. Okay. So this is something that we have as a customized unit for a lot of our customers who doesn't have enough headroom on the top of the tank. This one you can mount it sideways to the front or the side of the tank. So we have one just a direct 90 degree or one with a shepherd's hook. So it depends on how the customer will want to measure it. So this is one of our, our, new, our new look on the classic mechanical gauge. So this doesn't have any power directed to it. It's just a mechanical float that moves a needle. So this is uh, very sturdy. This is made of glass and aluminum and has been able to mount with 1.5 MPT or 1.5 BSP. Okay, and you understand these are all pickups for tanks. They'll work with any of the Wima tank gauges, right? Yes, it works with any Wima tank gauge. It comes, it can, comes in standard American output of 240 to 33, or European output of 0 to 180 ohms. It's also able to do it in voltage, 0 to 5 volts. Okay, there you have it, the latest update from Wima. Now, why do you come to the boat show? Uh, no reason in particular. Yes. Just check out the sights and sounds. Oh, okay. Are you boaters? No. Would no, you be? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> possibly. What do you think possibly. of that? Huh? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, possibly. You think it'd be cool you like boats? Yes, I like boats. Should he buy one? Yeah, I think he should buy one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you need a custom dock built, right? Meet the guys from American Muscle Docks and Fabrication. When we say fabrication, you guys can build anything? Correct. We're a custom fabrication shop. We manufacture our hardware from the first step all the way through. We build boat docks and we sell pieces to contractors or whatever. We do it all in-house. You design stuff. I see some lighting right here in these photos. Really cool. Thank you very much. We're trying to take a dock that used to just serve a purpose and make it serve a purpose but be a beacon for attention. And that restaurants, individuals, anybody who wants to put a little bit of flair or match something from the, the nice uh, you know, ocean side of it onto the water, we try to match that. So there's pretty no, there's no limitations. It's whatever you want, we can do. I see some diamond plate. That's reflecting the light. Correct, yeah. The diamond plate can be powder coated. It can be aluminum. It can be stainless steel. Um, it can be any color you want, any design, any shape, any depth. Really, it's limitless to what you want. It's just we have to figure out what you like and personalize it to that. If uh, somebody's building a marina or a yacht club, you can do a whole bunch of docks. Correct. We've done marinas over 4,000 feet. We've done uh, jobs of 10 feet, so we can do it all in terms of that. We, we try to focus on the marina side, but we also sell, sell to any of the retailers, anybody coming in that needs just one single part. We do that as well through our website and sales, but we also try to reach the largest customers we can, the large marinas. Yeah, I like the creativity of it. You have a website in case they want more information. You sell direct, right? We do, yes. It's American Muscle Docks, and docks is plural, AmericanMuscleDocks.com. All right, folks, there you are. You need a custom dock built. These are the guys to get a hold of. You don't have to go through a middleman. Pleasure Boater is being brought to you by Wema USA, featuring a full line of sensors and gauges. And by Intrepid Power Boats, one of a kind, one at a time. And by American Muscle Docks, superior dock systems. Okay, folks, let me talk to you a little bit about maintenance on your boat, keeping it clean. I'm talking about a lot of things here with this product called Wipeout Eraser. Ralph, what is it? How are you? Um, Wipeout Eraser is a big version of the Magic Eraser. Uh, I designed this product about five years ago, and all I did was I took a good product and I made it much better. 
Magic Eraser has been around uh, for a really long time. It's been used in the household. Um, the only complaint people have is that it shreds apart very quickly. It doesn't last long, especially when you take them to marine surfaces. So about five years ago, I actually married this product to the marine industry, and I created a bigger, more robust, longer-lasting version of the Magic Eraser. Right off the bat, you can see that the product will be about three times thicker than a Magic Eraser, but that's not what makes it better. The design is what's key. We added a shred-resistant layer, which is going to hold our pad together better than any Magic Eraser on the market. The blue scrunchy material we put here is non-scratch, so he's not going to harm anything or scratch anything with it. We made it non-scratch on purpose. It can be used to clean, but in reality, it just gives our pad more integrity and allows it to adhere to our handle system. Now, this is the first time anyone's ever put a Magic Eraser on a handle. The biggest benefits of having a handle on a Magic Eraser is that they will wear evenly, so you're going to get a lot more use, especially on the larger areas like shower doors, tiles, but on the boating end, more than anything, a uh, non-skid surface. Now, when you use this product on the non-skid, anybody that's ever used a product like this on the non-skid, they love it and they'll never use anything else again. Why? Because it gets into all those grooves and it's able to clean better than anything. And the beauty of it is that it doesn't have any type of chemicals. Well, all that's left is uh, how do I buy one of these, huh? Well, you can go on our website and uh, actually use the promotional code that you're seeing right now, which is MIA13. Uh, put that right in our website. You're going to get free shipping and handling. We actually have a special promotion uh, for all the customers that are listening and watching this show here. Uh, but you're going to go on www.wipeouteraser.com, and you can place your order online. You can get your handle packs. You can get refills if you've already purchased this product. Um, and again, it's a good product made better. All right, thank you very much, Ralph. There you have it, folks. Talk about easy maintenance on your boat. Welcome back aboard Place Your Boater. Well, we're going to take you for a little ride right now and find out about Intrepid's entry that is a professional fishing team. As a matter of fact, I think later on we may go out with you in a fishing tournament. That sounds you, good to me. If you'll let us come along. Okay. Absolutely. Tell us about this Intrepid. You know, this particular boat is the first hull of the new 375 mold Intrepid came out with. They entered into the SKA platform and uh, partnered with us to be the SKA fishing team for them. It's been an exciting year. 2012 was a really good year. This boat won the first tournament. We won the first tournament that ever fished in wow. the SKA event in Sarasota. So it's an exciting exciting time for the NBOA Gulf Coast Open and it was a lot of fun for us and it's been a fantastic relationship with us and Intrepid Ted. Okay we have three outboards Intrepid loves outboards that's, yes, that's what they believe in and I agree. What horsepower are they? These are three uh, triple Yamaha 350. She hops on plane quick. Huh? She does runs real fast and it's a, a 70 mile an hour boat and uh, uh, with three and four people fishing it full of gear she t she'll run 67 in the ocean. This boat's uh, 37 feet 9 inches in length overall it's called a 375. Okay. tournament edition and uh, uh, the width is a ten and a half beam so ten foot six it draws about 24 inch so it's well, a, that's not a, bad not bad at all it's that's what uh, she's setting here in the water yes sir that is correct so it'll sit comfortably in three feet of water uh, they got over 130 gallons of water uh, live well space in this particular boat we have a an 80 gallon live well in the vision helm seat and also a 55 gallon live well in the floor uh, powered and pumped uh, 4,000 gallons per hour pumped to each live well so if you need that much water, Intrepid's manufactured a sea chest system that, that'll uh, supply all the water you need in a live well system. Plus, I have two uh, plumbed tuna tubes in the back starboard oh. corner. What kind of uh, fuel capacity? The capacity is 506 gallons. Comes wow. standard with 302, and the auxiliary tank is 204. So, a combination of 506. And the good thing about their fuel is that it will run almost every bit of it out. You don't have a whole lot of excess that shows that's non usable. Uh, if it says 204, it'll use a good 202 at least. It's no a, kidding. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Well, it, what make they a difference do. Too. it makes a big difference in knowing exactly how far you can go. And so, just their attention to detail on things like that means a lot. They put 13 rod holders in the back with two at a 15 degree, the others at a zero degree angle. So uh, I carry, thir I can carry uh, 13 rods back here, and uh, it's pretty exciting for a fisherman person that that uh, will carry 16 uh, live bait, rod, and reel combinations all the time for tournaments. It looks like you have a what a collapsing seat right here. Yes, sir. That is correct. It's uh, uh, their innovation of what they do to save space and the creature comforts that Intrepid provides is amazing. They actually made this seat to where it will fold up, folds out into complete bench and a uh, real comfortable ride. All right. Do you have rod holders or anything? Absolutely. Uh, under the gunnels, Ted, we've got uh, 
five rod holders under each kernel. And then forward, um, I'll show you the uh, uh, that lays down. It has four rod holders in each of the uh, hidden in the uh, sides. And I see plenty of stereo. We can rock and roll a little bit. Plenty of fusion speakers, plenty of fusion new uh, 700 series control head, absolutely. Complete with a chart plotter. Yes, sir. The, uh, the new Simrad NSS-12s, uh, ICOM 504A uh, radios, uh, Simrad um, AP24 autopilot, uh, all the cool stuff. I've got some great folks that work with us on these uh, options. So, really nice, uh, really nice products. Hi. What is your favorite thing about the Miami boat show? Um, <laughs> the boats, I guess. The boats? Yeah. What kind of boats? Um, the Pathfinder. Oh, okay, you like that. Mm -hmm. Are you a boater now? My husband is a boater. Uh, is that cool? It's pretty fun sometimes. <laughs> Depends sometimes. on the weather. <laughs> oh, sometimes not so fun. <laughs> sometimes not so fun. All right, thank you. Thank Have a nice day.